Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my Virgo Soul family members out there doing? My name's Morty. Today is December 26th, and it is late afternoon, Mountain Standard Time. It's Wednesday, so day after Christmas. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do a read for Virgo for the month of January 2019. Um, yeah, Virgo, what a great sign. Um, you know, Virgos, they have this... Um, they have this ability of seeing things in black and white, right, many times. Um, which means sometimes they can be a little judgmental. Um, you know, every, every quality has, or every, every sign has its positive traits and its limiting traits that goes along with it. Um, Virgos, you know, great traits are they're very intelligent, uh, very clever and quick-witted, um, have great sense of humor. Uh, very meticulous, reliable, analytical, practical. They can be very modest. Um, they can also be very fussy. Um, they can be a little harsh at times. And like I mentioned before, sometimes they can, um, you know, they're seeing the world in black and white. Sometimes it uh, creates a little judge judgmental. Or they can be a little judgmental, I should say. So, anyways, kind of interesting. So, Let's uh, let's get started with this read, Virgo. What do you have going on in January 2019? I want to begin this read by pulling a card from my affirmations deck. Just see what affirmation Virgo has taking them into the month. Um, whether you are your sun sign is in Virgo, or your moon or rising is in Virgo, or maybe you're just checking up on a Virgo friend. Or maybe you're just intuitively guided to be here. Either way, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, I want to reach out to you guys and thank all of you for the comments and the likes and the subscribes and shares. So you guys are the best. So uh, I'm really happy to hear that these reads that I'm um, that I'm providing you that they're resonating with you. So that makes me feel really good. So let's continue resonating here. Virgo, good card. Harvest. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. So, yeah, that um, this is a great affirmation for Virgo. Um, this tells me that, um, and again, I just want to point out that this, this read won't be for every Virgo, but it will be for some. Um, and what this affirmation tells me is that there are some Virgos out there that um, you've been manifesting for a long time. Um, you're ready for your harvest to come in, right? And this is this is your affirmation, calling out to the universe, letting the universe know, hey, I've worked hard, and I'm ready for my harvest to arrive. It's a good affirmation for Virgo. Um, kind of interested to see how it fits into the read. So I'm doing today's read with my Crystal Vision Carol set. I really like the Crystal Vision. We just want to see what the opening energy is for Virgo, taking them into the month of January. <clears throat> wow. Virgo, you have a great card. You pull the card of the Magician. Um, the magician, he has perfect balance, uh, perfect balance of mind, body, and spirit, perfect balance in, um, earth, fire, water, um, air. He stands above a crescent moon, representing unseen energy, right? Because he's a magician, he manifests. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's... This one of the best cards you could have, you, in my opinion, you could have pulled, Virgo. Taking you into the read, so good for you. I'm excited for you. 
Virgo, you have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands, this card represents the energy of, um, she sits on the side of a hill and she has her crystal ball in front of her and she's holding it in front of her and she's looking out and she's kind of trying to chart out her path, right? Her journey that's ahead of her, right? She's looking into that crystal ball for, for guidance and direction. Okay, Virgo, tell us more. Tell us more. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. This represents the energy of becoming a master at what it is you do, right? Becoming a master at your trade. So she sits at her spin wheel and she's carefully and delicately making sure that everything is lined up and precise because she's trying to become a master at what it is she does. Virgo, you also have the Knight of Wands. So this would be a fire energy, right? Fast moving energy. Knights always show up. Um, this knight certainly going to show up. Um, he shows up a little reckless, right? He comes in with um, kind of like with a rush. Um, he has presence when 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 this energy shows up, um, but it can be a kind of a fickle energy, right? Be the kind of the energy where he's not quite certain certain what he wants. Okay, I'm pretty sure a card flipped here, so I need to just check. Check and see. Okay, I guess not. Virgo, you also have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands. This particular card, this is this represents the energy of um, setting out on an adventure, right? Setting out on 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 uh, figuring out your course. The man sits with his dragon. He's looking at the course ahead of him, and he's trying to chart it out. He's trying to see, okay, what what is what's what's around the corner? What's going to come next? And he may be looking for some guidance, some 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 direction, right? Or maybe a third party. We had the Four of Cups. This is this card represents the energy of being bored, right? She's staring at the at this water lily in this cup, right in front of her, and she's oblivious to these three cups that are right next to her. Virgo, you have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups would be a water sign, more than likely. Um, Pisces. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, queen, so could be a female, doesn't have to be, it's just that energy. Queen of Cups is the most loving queen. Um, she sits on this uh, reed throne of hers, one foot in the water, one foot on dry ground. Um, she representing balance. She's a very nurturing, loving energy. You have the strength card and this is coming in under the eight of pentacles right strength card also known as the card of leo this is a great card this is a great energy it's the energy bringing you bringing strength to virgo right bringing strength to you in this read We have judgment. Judgment. This is coming in under the Knight of Wands. Um, yeah, so what this tells me, 
and I'll know more when I when more of the cards fall and I'm looking at more of the read. Um, but judgment tells me that for Virgo, um, this may be judgment that you're holding um, towards yourself, right? Um, could be judgment towards other people. Um, yeah, but I, I kind of I kind of feel like this is maybe this is maybe judgment that that you're you're holding inward towards yourself. Virgo, you have the four of pentacles. This is a, this is the energy of, of hanging on to things too tightly, right? Hanging on to to, to earthly material things too tightly. You have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, um, she gets she's she's take, she takes care of business. Um, she holds a sword, doesn't like to use it, but is ready and willing to use it if necessary. Queen of Swords just cuts out whatever is not serving her and working for her life, right? It's that kind of energy. Cleaning house. Virgo, you have the Three of Pentacles. This is the energy of two people working together, right? Working together to manifest. Right? Working on manifesting these pentacles. Um, this is also the energy encouraging, um, possibly encouraging Virgo to consider working with somebody else. Um, taking on a partner. Um, calling in some of that outside expertise. And that's your energy taking you out of the read. Okay, Virgo, give me just a minute. Let me take a look at these cards here and just kind of see what I see, and then I can share it with you. Um, then we'll go from there. So, I mean, going into the month, you pull the Harvest um, Affirmation, right? Your first card out of the gate, Virgo, is the Magician. So, clearly, you're manifesting, right? Um, you've been manifesting for quite some time. Virgo, you're setting out on a journey, right? You're looking for that guidance and direction of what's ahead. The one thing that I think you do feel you do have ahead of you in this journey is it's going to bring you the energy of the Queen of Cups, right? Which is this all-loving, all-nurturing energy. Virgo. I mean, Virgos are great workers, right? Great in the work field. And that's what this is saying right here, right? So for some Virgos out there that you, you're, you're working on trying to master your trade, right? Become the best at what it is you do. And doing that brings you strength, right? Makes you stronger, raises your vibration, raises your energy. So we have the Knight of Wands and the, and the Judgment card. So I think this is, I think this is telling Virgo um, to be aware of this energy that's within you, this fiery energy, that's real quick to act, right? Real quick to respond, real quick to, um, it's just quick. And to be honest with you, it's kind of, um, it, it kind of feels like it's the opposite of Virgo. Um, because Virgo isn't real quick, you know, they think things through, right? They're intelligent, they want to be sure, they want to be certain. So... This is saying, be aware of this particular energy. Don't fall prey to it. Virgo, whatever it is you're clinging to in life, right? Hanging on to too tightly. And it'll, it'll, it'll depend, depending on, you know, who you are, what's going on in your life. 
But for Virgos, you're hanging on to something too tightly and it's hindering you from being able to take on this new venture, right? This new, exciting, courageous, risk-taking adventure. Well, if there are some Virgos out there who have been feeling bored, this Queen of Swords energy coming into your life, right? Whether this is an outside energy coming into you, it's, it would be an air sign, so Aquarius, Virgo, or Libra, or whether this is your energy that you're now taking on, right? It's a cure for boredom. It's going to cut out anything that's no longer serving you in life. And it's only going to keep those things in your life that are serving you. And Virgo. It's going to bring you the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is about manifesting, right? This is about working, um, about, t about whatever it is you choose to invest your energy towards, about being able to manifest from that, right? And this is possibly working with somebody else, Virgo. Okay, I just want to get a little more clarification in a couple areas. Um, I want to get a little more clarification on this Queen of Cups. So, Virgo's read, tell me more about the Queen of Cups. For the clarification on the Queen of Cups. Okay, you have the six of six of cups. So this represent, represents the energy of um, looking back on memories of the past, right? Looking back on on maybe easier times. That's coming. It's falling on the Queen of Cups, right? So this is Virgo. This is maybe you being able to look back on on times in the past where things were just a little smoother, a little easier transitioning in life, and you were able to feel this this unconditional love and abundance. You also got the King of Wands, right? So. Yeah, I don't know. I think for some Virgos out there, you may be in a relationship or in a partnership with a fire sign, right? Somebody who is uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, it's king, so it represents a male energy, but it doesn't have to be. The king of wands, I mean, this is a great energy. This is the kind of energy that a person can stand behind, right? It's a magnetic um, kind of energy that just pulls you in, just draws you, just you know, it gives you hope and you know, turns all the lights on, if you will. Okay, I want to also, I just want to ask about this Queen of Swords. A little further clarification on the Queen of Swords. Okay, you have the Lover's card, which is also the card of Gemini. <clears throat> you know, so I don't know. I think that there there may be some Virgos uh, out there that you are in a relationship with an air sign. Um, so Aquarius, uh, Libra, or Gemini. Could very well be a Gemini, or this Gemini card came out with the Lovers. But this represents two people. Being connected, being in love. Okay, um, Virgo, you have a great read. Um, yeah, you have an exciting month of January to look forward to. Um, thank you all for participating in this read with me and for, for watching it. Um, thank you for all the comments, likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are the best. Um, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Um, thank you for the donations and for everybody that's been ordering personal reads. 
Um, I'm really happy to hear that uh, my reads are resonating with all of you. So that makes me feel really good. Um, it helps me connect more with your energy. So, you know, I think moving ahead, the reads will get better and better. So there's a good connection that's there. So a lot of great resonating energies. Anyways, all right, guys, thanks. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and have a good night.